Good day to you, my dear family and friends. I warmly welcome you back to this marvelous day. It's the first day of November and the beginning of a new week. We give God all the glory for his mercy, his grace that has seen us through the year until this 11th month. And we know and believe that he will see us through to the very end. Our topic today is love with action and truth. Love is a subject that will always be relevant as long as there is life here on planet Earth. So we will always return with a theme of love once in a while. And I just believe that we need love at this present time in history of human beings. So love in act, love with action. So you love with action, not just profess love, not just confess love with your words by telling someone, I love you. That's great. I'd love someone to say I love you every day to me. However, love needs to be backed by our actions. We need to show by the things we do that we actually do love someone. And it should be in truth. Because there's so many people who have loved and lost that there was no truth in the love they confessed. Eventually it fizzled out. Love died. Love never dies. The Bible says that God so loved the world. The love of God was so authentic that he gave. He acted. He gave. That was love in action. Who best is our role model that we must copy but God? Love with action. Let your actions, your behavior show, prove the love that you confess to anybody. We're not meant to only love our family, our wives, husbands, children, siblings, friends. We're meant to love everybody. And the things we do will confirm, will further cement that love. How are you loving people around you? What do you do to emphasize the love that you want people to believe you've got for them? Love is needed. You need love. I need love. Love is the oil that helps the wheel of human existence to continue rolling. Love will never fail. Love in truth. When you tell someone you love them, you are supposed to be committed to that love. Nothing should shake, shake the love. Yes, people would hurt us. People would do things and we would want to withdraw the love. But the love that's done in truth will not withhold that love. When we are hurt, there's a need to step back for a bit, but not let the love diminish. Rather, we find other ways to continue loving these people in truth because our love is pure and true. The love God has for us is so pure and true that even in our failings, when we fall short of his glory, when we go astray, he's waiting there to receive us, to welcome us back. Let us be like God, to love with our actions, with our words. Who would you love today? Who would you love this week, this new month? Now that things are going on, it's Christmas coming. What ways would you let those in your life know that you love them? Or the people you encounter periodically, how would your action let them know that I love you, I care about you, and that's the truth you want them to believe? May God help us to love, not just say we love people, but let our actions, let our deeds display the love that we actually do feel inside of us. I love you, but I can never love you more than God loves you. Take care now. God bless you. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now.